so guys let us do the calculation hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl again Yela Obijaku, and we are back we are back 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 but we are back <laughs> we are back with another video guys so today's video i'm going to be talking about just as the title says i'm going to be talking about how much you need to migrate to canada and under the express entry program that's the federal skilled workers program i get a lot of questions in my dm and people keep wondering okay this canada thing safe if person one starts like how much the person supposed to keep so i'm going to be breaking it down for you guys today and i'm also going to be um very detailed about it so it's going to be like a two-in-one part video so i'm not sure if i'm going to be splitting it into two but i'm going to be telling you what you need and how much you need so if you just see my face for the first time and you're yet to subscribe to my channel i would love you to click that cute red button that says subscribe subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell while you're teeth so you don't miss any new videos whenever i goes live on my channel i i do beauty videos i also do makeup reviews i do hair tutorials once in a while i also do videos i also do sewing tutorials and i document my life as as a new immigrant in canada so guys if you know you are interested in seeing a little bit of this and a little bit of that don't forget to turn on the bell and if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for sticking with me this present time guys <laughs> well not too much you guys are the real mvps so guys let's get into today's video first things first before you even think about migrating to another country to another country so you need an international passport first things first and the cost of international passports in nigeria i'm speaking to people who will be migrating or who would want to migrate from nigeria is you know on the nigerian immigration page or their website i think it's about eighteen thousand or twenty one thousand. i can't remember but you find you know people doing these things for uh, for 30 to 45,000 naira. So it depends on how many pages of international passport you want and how fast you can get. We know how these things are done. Um, I did mine for about 30k or 28k. I did my international passport in 2017. So that is the first thing you're going to get. Then the second thing you need, you need to write IELTS. So for what is what, if you're going to be migrating to Canada through the Federal Skilled Workers Program, you're going to have to write the English test. So that is the IELTS and currently the price is 75,000 Naira. And I would advise you that you please, when you do that exam, pass it in just one sitting because 75,000 Naira at this present time is not beans it is not chewing money it is not you know kuli kuli money it is not money you used to buy bread or used to buy pizza it's a whole lot of money and for people who usually ask me how to get ready for IELTS, I will always recommend IELTSbody.com or also do practice tests with your friends and you know watch YouTube tutorials. There are tons and tons of YouTube tutorials on how to you know how to pass your IELTS exam. So please pay attention to those video tutorials. The next thing you're going to be needing is your transcript. Give or take, you're going to be needing your transcript. So whether it was when you were doing your undergrad program or postgraduate program. So what do I mean? Your BSc or your master's. But I always advise you, if you have a master's, please use your master's. Use your master's to do whatever it is you want to do if you're going to be migrating through the Federal Skilled Workers Program. So you're going to be, for each transcript, it depends on the school. They could, it depends on the school, it's between 15 to 20,000 Naira. So it depends on your own school. For the University of Nigeria, the last time I checked, it was, was it 15K or 35K? I, I honestly cannot remember, but anybody who graduated from the University of Nigeria can actually see the original, the current price in the comment section below. I honestly cannot remember. I still have the 15K in my head. I'm not sure if it's still 15k but it depends on your school so that is what you pay to your school to get your transcript ready then the next thing you're going to be needing or you need to do is to do your west verification so i always advise people to do their west verif to start their west verification on time why because of you know how difficult it is in for nigerian universities because 
I don't know how long ago you graduated, but you know how these things, especially schools that do, you know, doing the manual way of doing things and have not gone digital. So I would advise, so give or take, if your school is going to delay you rather than doing your IELTS, just start with your West Verification. And West Verification now, as I now, I think it's about 93,000 Naira. So <laughs> do your math while I'm doing this video. So you will for and this is for each certificate you want to verify but I always advise people to verify like to, to do all the verification at once so if you have your master's degree please verify that and um, if you have any other degree that is equivalent to a Canadian diploma you can also verify that that is also going to help boost your express entry points. The next thing you will need to do is to do your medicals. So these are things, most of the things I'm saying is after you have been, you've been sent an invitation to apply. So I'm just telling you things you need to do and how much these things are going to cost so that you have an idea of how much you need to save. If you need to save or if you need to, I don't know, whatever way you want to get this money. So the next thing we need to do is to do your medicals and medicals i would advise or i would only talk about the the place where i had my medicals in nigeria and that that was i think iom i'm trying to remember the full name but it was on isaac john in jerry keja in lagos and i think that cost me about forty six thousand five hundred, if i'm not mistaken so you would the medicals range between 30 to 46 and i heard there are other places in lagos that do you know that you can pay cheaper to do your medicals i don't know i'm only going to tell you about the one i did and it was about the amount of money i paid so are you guys still calculating <laughs> The next thing you need to do is police report, which is very important. And police report, I think, is really just valid for three months. So if you're going to be doing that, I would advise you do that when your ITA comes out. I think three months or six months. I can't remember. But I think a lot of us actually came with that police report regardless. You know, so it depends on the police officer you meet. Let me put it that way because some, I think the range is between 7,000 Naira and above. If you're lucky to find someone who would do less for you, be my guest. But I think that is about the same amount of money. And anybody who did it for less, please drop drop it in the comment section below. And um, I did mine uh, in Ikoi. I think that's the criminal, the CID department, the criminal investigation department or something. I'm, try, I'm trying to remember but it was in Ikoi and that was why I did my police report I was there I did my police report and I picked it up that same day the next thing you want to need or the next document or the next item you need to migrate to Canada as an express entry holder is fees for express entry so your fees for express entry actually comprises of processing fee for you or for your family members or whoever you're you're you know going to whoever that's going to be accompanying you to canada the right of permanent residency and the third one is the bio biometrics fee so uh, processing fee for you and your family member as at april 2020 that's april 30th 2020 I think on the canadian immigration site the prices have changed and the price the new prices are supposed to take effect from the april 30th 2020 and hmm, <laughs> so application fee with the right of permanent residence is 1325 canadian dollars we are going to do the conversion now today's date is let me just tell you when i filmed this video today's date is 24th of um june 2020 and the rate is 284 naira to one canadian dollar that is 376,300. so this is what you need to this is what you have to pay for your application fee and your right right of permanent residence yes application fee with right of permanent residence but if you actually don't want to pay the right of permanent residence you can go ahead and just pay 825 dollars canadian dollars please 
but I don't think it actually makes sense but it's advisable for you to pay them together then the if you are including a dependent child the fee is $2,225 so for every child you're including you have to pay additional $225 Canadian dollars and that is $284 and that is $63,900 so that is it for the fees for express entry and biometrics fee i think the last i checked it was about 170 canadian dollars so most times because i think that's actually how you know my husband did as he paid his express entry fees that's the fees for express entry that is inclusive of the right of permanent residency and the vacation fee he paid it alongside the biometrics so that was at about 170 dollars i think so it's easy it's better to pay it at once so that when you go to do your biometrics you don't need to start making any payments you just go in straight and they attend to you immediately like when you're done with everything when you have your passport lts you passed really well you've done your west verification they've sent you ita you've also put in your police reports and done the necessary the other document the other documents i'm talking about is probably your um school certificate um letter of employment um letter of I think your salary plan or something so you have to um print like a document that shows the statement of accounts that shows your salary like how much you, you are being paid at, at a particular time because you have to prove that you actually had a job or you had the experience the supposed experience you put in when you were um, doing your application so now let us talk about proof of funds <laughs> These are the things you need way before. Oh, I didn't even talk about that. You also need to be prepared. If you have gotten your visa ready, you also need to pay money to your visa processing office. That is money to transport your passport to wherever they are supposed to stamp your visa and money to send it back and also money for text messaging that one it's 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 not i don't think it's so much of a big deal because if you can afford to pay ninety three thousand naira for west seventy five thousand naira for ielts a thousand three hundred and twenty five canadian dollars the other money should be you know should not matter so on the canadian immigration website they recently well not recently their fees for proof of fund increased if you guys remember in my video in one of my canada videos i think around the time when i recently migrated maybe one of those videos i shared in january or in february i was talking about how proof of fund is very very important if you're migrating to this part of the world and now <laughs> proof of fund for a single person as at february 2020 for a single person is 12960 canadian dollars so let us do the math let us do the maths to a this is 3.6 million so about 3.6 million so this is 3680640 so that is how much you need for proof of fund if you're a single person you that money is going to be collecting breeze in your account that money is going to be resting peacefully in your account untouched then if you are a couple you would need a minimum of 16,135 Canadian dollars. Let us do the maths in Nigerian currency. I'm sorry, I'm doing the exchange rates, um, in the conversion to the Naira because I, from, my, from my analytics, there are, there are more people in Nigeria watching my, you know, videos. 4.5 million, eight two three four zero so you need about four point five let's say give or take four point six million if you are a couple then if you're a family of three three maybe you have just one child you need well maybe not a child but if you're a family of three you need about nineteen thousand eight hundred and thirty six canadian dollars so let us do the math let five million six hundred and thirty three thousand four hundred and twenty four naira that is if you're a family of three if you are a family of five you need twenty seven thousand three hundred and fifteen canadian dollars this is about seven point 
seven million seven hundred and fifty seven thousand four hundred and sixty naira so if you're a family of five and for any other additional member you know to your express entry application you're going to be needing an extra three thousand four hundred and ninety two canadian dollars stashed somewhere in your account everything so you cannot borrow that money from anybody like why do you want to borrow the money because when you come here there are a lot of things that's going to you know that's going to want to you know sip your money so even if you come here without knowing anybody or without any family member you need to leave you need a roof over your head so i'm not even talking about going to look for a house immediately you can decide to stay in an airbnb and airbnbs are not free you have to stay in an airbnb you need to open a bank account you know you need to transport yourself to and fro wherever it is you're going to get your driving test done to um get your bus pass to start applying for jobs you know to like you need money you need to feed as well and for whatever it is you buy at the store you pay for tax so if you're even if you're going to buy gum like chewing gum you're going to pay for tax on that chewing gum you're buying so there are a lot of things that are going to stick and sip out you know want to zap and squeeze that money so i don't see any reason why you would want to borrow your entire proof of funds so i hope this video was pretty much clear i don't want to even do the calculations but if you're ready if you watch the video till this present time comment ooh la la let me know if you watch this video till this present point so guys let us do the calculation so let's start from passport which is thirty thousand naira plus transcript 20,000 naira plus west 93,000 naira plus ILTS 75,000 naira plus medicals which is 46,500 naira plus your police reports which is about 7,000 naira or more so what I have now is 271,000 naira 500 I'm just going to put this down somewhere so that I can do the rest of the calculations then your application fee is application fee is 376,300 so application fee plus the right of permanent residence fee then biometrics is 48,280 the proof of funds a single person is 3,680,640 naira so i'm going to be adding all of them together so 3,680,640 naira plus application fee which is 376,000 naira 300 plus biometrics which is 48,280 plus everything i calculated before which was 271,500 so passport transcript um west and ielts so you need about 4. Point three seven six seven two zero so you need four million three hundred and seventy six thousand seven hundred and twenty naira so give or take if you're migrating here under the federal skilled workers program you should do maybe four point five million or if you have so much money to spare just make it five million naira it's going to be good for you because your proof of fund alone it's already the bulk of the money that's about 3.6 million something so but if you are planning or if you already have money stashed somewhere and you really feel you want to do this you know you want to migrate to Canada I think give or take 4.5 million or um, 5 million naira what I'm saying 5 million naira is with all that you know miscellaneous expenses you're going to be incurring so transportation to do your medicals transportation to come back transportation to do your biometrics back and forth transportation to do your um, police reports even if you have a car you're going to be foiling that car but I think those are costs that you will be happy to incur because you know it's for a good cause and i'm also saying why i'm also saying about five million naira is give or take for flight tickets so it depends on what airline you're going to be traveling with so i hope i've been able to clarify one or two things from this video and for those who have been asking me in the dm this is how much you need asset 
june 2020 because who knows things might change the british commission can decide to you know change the prices for ielts and canadian immigration might decide to just you know review their prices next year but this is as of june 2020 and this is from my own research i did i've been wanting to do this video like for the longest of time i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like to see more videos like this do give me a thumbs up and if you also have any video requests please do let me know in the comment section below i'll be glad to film that video and have it up for you guys to watch and enjoy do have a fabulous day ahead guys <laughs>